Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I'm sharing one of my favorite Disneyland copycat recipes. I'm gonna be sharing my version of the Jolly Holiday Combo. This combo includes the best tomato basil soup I've ever tasted, and to go along with it, a toasted cheese sandwich on buttery sourdough bread. It is so good, so stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. Okay guys, so yesterday my friend Kristen over at the channel Six Sister Stuff shared her Disneyland coffee cat recipe for a chicken enchilada soup, which they also serve at the Jolly Holiday restaurant at Disneyland. So if you'd like to check out that video, I'll link it down below. It looks delicious. Both Kristen and I are huge Disney fans and we love the Jolly Holiday restaurant. If you're not familiar with this restaurant, it's located at the end of Main Street right before the entrance to Adventureland. This quick service restaurant has lots of breakfast items, sandwiches, salads, and a ton of fancy looking desserts. And you guys, this restaurant is Mary Poppins themed, so what's not to like, right? My family and I definitely stop here at least once on every Disneyland trip. And you guys, Kristen and I are teaming up again because of this huge Southern California giveaway that's going on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the information on how to enter in the description box below, so definitely go over there, check it out, and enter. And good luck. And without further ado, let's get started on this delicious recipe. Now I'm going to be making this recipe in my Instant Pot today, but you can also make this recipe on the stove top or even the crock pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the full recipe in the description box below so you can check it out. I'm going to start by turning my Instant Pot to saute. Next, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the bottom of my pot and give it some time to warm up. To this, I'm going to add one medium yellow onion, finely diced. Next, I'm going to add my carrots and my celery. I'm using about one cup of grated carrots and one cup of finely diced celery. I'm gonna give this a stir and saute for one minute. Next, I'm going to pour in my broth. I'm using four cups of chicken broth. Or you could also use four cups of water mixed with chicken bouillon. I really like this better than bouillon chicken base. I find it at Costco. And now it's time to add in my crushed tomatoes. I'm using a 28 ounce can. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of dried basil and one bay leaf. Next, I'm going to cover my pot and turn off the saute function. And you wanna make sure that your valve is on sealing or it's not gonna work. Next, I'm going to press the manual button and set my timer for five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and melt my butter in the microwave. This is about half a cup. Or you could do it on the stove top, it's totally up to you. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to whisk in my flour, a little bit at a time. And I'm using about half a cup of gluten-free flour, but definitely you can use regular flour if that's what you prefer. Once that is combined, it's going to form a thick mixture. Now by this point, my Instant Pot has already beeped, so I think it's a good idea to let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then move the valve to the venting area. Make sure to keep your fingers out of the way. Once the pressure is released, I'm gonna go ahead and open the lid. Next, I'm going to turn my Instant Pot back on to the saute function. Then I'm going to remove about a ladle full of the hot soup and combine that into my flour and butter mixture. And I'm going to whisk this well. You wanna make sure it doesn't leave any lumps. This is kind of like tempering in an egg, if you know what I mean. Once that is fully incorporated, I can go ahead and add it back into my pot and mix it up with the rest of the soup. After that, I'm going to let it cook for a few more minutes on the saute setting. You just wanna cook it long enough so that you don't taste that raw flour taste. I'm also gonna make sure to stir my soup regularly at this point. Now, when you order this soup from Disneyland, it is smooth, it's not chunky. So I'm going to use my immersion blender to blend it up. Next, I'm going to add my milk to my soup and some salt and pepper to taste, followed by one cup of Parmesan cheese and then stir it up. And now that the soup is ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and make some delicious grilled cheese sandwiches. 
For my sandwiches, I'm using two slices of sourdough bread. I'm also gonna be using two slices of cheddar cheese and one slice of mozzarella cheese. I love the combination of these cheeses together. And we're definitely not skimping on the cheese in this sandwich. I'm gonna go ahead and spread a little bit of butter on my bread, get my cheese on there, add a little bit of butter to the outside of my bread, and get it onto my preheated pan. I think the trick to a good grilled cheese is not to rush it. You definitely wanna give the cheese inside a chance to melt before the outside gets too dark. And there you have it. At the Jolly Holiday Restaurant, nowadays they will cut your sandwich on a diagonal and they'll give you a cup of this delicious soup to dip it in. This really is the perfect combo. I hope you guys love it. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Now, if you'd like to see my video on how to make fun Disney-themed school lunches, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see what I put in my Disney Parks diaper bag, you can click on the link down there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.